que alumbra esta pena, mi calle desierta. Cuántas noches me has visto llorando y amar a su puerta, sin llevarle más que una canción, un pedazo de mi corazón, sin llevarle más nada que un beso violento y travieso, amar muy dulce. Hey, uh, boy, I, I, uh... that's all right, Joe. I'm sure you'll think of it later. Cuántas noches me has visto llorando y amar a su puerta sin llevarle más que una canción, un pedazo de mi corazón, sin llevarle más nada que un beso violento y travieso, amargo y dulce. Sin llevarle más nada que un beso violento y travieso, amargo y dulce. Jobs are held in the daytime. Goodbye, Mrs. Cowley. Salud, Havana. Salud. Are you sure you're in the right room? I think so. 
You are Mr. Malone, aren't you? Yes. What can I do for you? Well, it's very important and very personal. I think it'd be better if we spoke in private. Oh, well, I'm a married man, but perhaps we can arrange it. Will you excuse us, dear? I must go anyway. See you later, dear? Of course. Now then, what is this important and personal matter, Mrs. Cowdy? Cowdy. Mrs. Benjamin Cowdy. And I'm the third floor charwoman in the Allison building. I don't mean to be a Budinsky with other folks' affairs. This very evening, I was in the broom closet, and two men stood talking near the elevator. Yes? I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I heard one of them say, and it's all set. We'll take the Copadora Club tomorrow night. And the other one said, it ought to be good for a bundle. Stick up, huh? Did you get a good look at these men? Oh, I'd know them anywhere. Well, I certainly appreciate your telling me this, Mrs. Cowdy. No, that isn't necessary. I couldn't stand by and see a man robbed if I could prevent it. You're right, Mrs. Cowdy. And we'll be ready for them. Now, if you'll just sit down here for a moment. Thank you. Operator, get me the police department. Sign them up. I've got something for you to approve, too, dear. Honey, everything you've got, I've already approved. Fresh. Now, this is for my cosmetics. Oh? And this is for my lingerie. Yes? And this is for your uh, shoes and trousers. Oh, I get one, too, huh? And this, oh, we'll just give to the porter. Naturally. Okay. Sensational. There. <laughs> We're ready, Lita. Oh, 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 okay. Say, boss. Uh, yeah. A couple of detectives waiting in your office. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> Don't say anything to Lita. <laughs> Morning, Brannigan. All right. Oh, sit down. Sit down. Right. Now tell me, what'd you boys find out? Well, we checked on the old lady, and she's as honest as the day is long. She's been working as a cleaning woman in the Allison building for the last 10 years. And her husband's out of work. Took her down to headquarters, showed her every picture in the gallery. She identify any of them? No. In my opinion, these two guys come from out of town. Mm. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll invite Mrs. Cowdy and her husband here tonight as my guest. You have your men planted out around the room. And the old lady will give a signal when these guys show up. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Does anybody else in the club know about this? No one. Good, then keep it quiet, just in case it's an inside party. I won't mention it. Now, have your men here early so I can spot them. That will do. Do you mind if I use your phone? No, go ahead. Yo tengo mi caballo en mi ranchito, y en el yo me saco a pasear. Arre, corre, vuela mi caballo ya. Voy a ver mi amorcito que espera dentro de Triga. Arre, corre, vuela 
Something just happened and we can't go again. Uh, it's business, baby. Important business. Yeah. Joe, might as well cancel the hotel reservations in Havana. Okay. I forgot to make them. Now remember, you're all guessing until something happens. Is that all clear? Here, then go to your table. Under glass, potato souffle, cherries jubilee, coffee, and Napoleon brandy later. Then, darling. Oh, yes, my dear. And champagne for two. Just like our wedding supper in Niagara Falls. It seems like yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. 
chiquita, es chiquita, es chiquita. My Jose. Looks like no dice and it's getting late. Maybe they won't show. See, the only signal your friend Mrs. Cowdy gave was to the waiter for more champagne. Yeah. It's getting late, sweetheart. Aren't you tired? Not a bit. It's been a beautiful evening, hasn't it, Ben? Yes, dear. Just like we've always hoped it would be. Nice of Malone to invite us. Yes, wasn't it? Excuse me. You see them? No. You can arrest me now. Arrest me? What is this? Well, there are no hold-up men. I lied to you, Mr. Malone. What are you talking about? Well, I'll try to explain. But first of all, my husband knows nothing about this. We haven't got much time left together, and for years we've been dreaming of an evening like this. We just kept putting it off because we couldn't afford it. Well, how could you stick your neck out with a trick like this, just for a dinner? Not just for a dinner, Mr. Malone. Tonight, Ben Cowdy and I celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. If we're together for another one, I'd do it again. Now I'm ready to take my medicine. Important thing. We're flying to advantage just as soon as we can pack. 